Are it already? Nope. Oh. But I have my mic on. I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're both... I assume that you were on, so we're both on on my stream now. Okay. Hello, chat. Hello. Hello. We have arrived. Yeah, intro. So, let me... I, I was gonna, I was gonna practice this ahead of time so that I would remember the words, but I didn't do that. <laughs> so anyway, hello, hello, I have arrived. <laughs> Future man, researcher, uh, artist, and part-time assistant bartender. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. All right, and I am Sheppy Sheps. Yes. Yeah, you, fi you, you finished your outro, and I interrupted your very well planned out outro. <laughs> uh, all I was going to say is, you know, tonight I am joined by Sheppy Sheps! That's me! Yes. Yep. Yes! And That's today you. I learned that, uh, today I learned I'm a chaos clown that likes to um, ride on a unicycle and juggle uh, lit grenades and fling them in every direction. That's mm. my kind of, that's my kind of clown. Nice. Yes. Yes, it's interesting. Oh, I got this I got this nice song going on. I got this like this crazy, crazy hardcore beat going on right now. Nice. Yeah, we have approximately the same beat as usual going on on my end. Oh yes, you're you're all looking at my about my Steam. Well, now that now you know that I have um the uh, Monster Prom Three. Oh no. Scandalous. Uh, not, scandalous. You now know that I have Monster Prom 1. Oh my. Not the second one? What is this? Uh, do I? Monster Prom. Wait. Monster. I do have it. Right there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. There we go. All, All right. well. Let's stop this insanity music. Video games. Yes. A bit Vindio, Vindio game. Hmm. Also, uh, I don't have a uh, game audio. That's, that's, how's that my problem? Um, pl plug in the audio machine All right, forehead. <laughs> Do you hear this annoying noise? Nope. I was attempting to do some foley work there. I don't know how much that came through on on uh, the microphone. Uh, you got to get your soldering iron. You got to like you actually have to like construct the actual speaker. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bang it. Uh, only, you have to bang it only five times. Ah. <laughs> uh, six is way out. Way out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're constructing a sound machine. Is it working now? Uh, no. Great. Uh, it should be working. I don't hmm. know why it's not. Um, uh, there might be some sort of issue with my parsec. I'll take a look at that real quick, maybe. Here, I'll play it like five seconds of Robot Stop. Yeah, I got nothing. So yeah, so okay. I'm definitely, no. it's definitely, I'm not getting anything through parsec. You want to reconnect? Uh, yeah. I'll do that real quick. Get out of here. I'm kicking you out. You're no, you're no longer welcome. Get out. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Reconnecting. <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got audio now. Nice, nice. It's that nice. simple. It's that simple, folks. You just got to kick your friends out of your house. Okay. Who we got? Who's live? Tiberius. We got Ty T T T Tiberius. V Vanderfeld and Fruit Rat. Fruit Rat, I saw your message. I will respond to your message when I'm done with stream. It'll probably just be an hour and a half like usual. So, hold on to your butts. We're going to get drunk. We're going to get some other ladies drunk. Maybe some men, too. We're not, we're not discriminating. All right. So, you got sound. Everything's working good? As far as I can tell. Okay. It sounds uh, like I have go. sound anyway. You just build a machine, so it, hopefully it works. Exactly. 
Yeah. Uh, day 16, room. Should be, yes. Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure your account has the necessary $10,000 or you'll be evicted. <laughs> Jill wonders if Meneki Nekos actually bring luck. But I want to prevent her from getting too distracted. I want a lucky cat. I want a I want a lucky cat. Do you do you know what those lucky cats are? They do like the paw I thing. Am, I am aware of them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I want one. You've been chuckling since yesterday. <laughs> uh, let's go shop. Let's indeed. There we go. Meneki Nico. Uh, they say these bring luck, but its paw is broken, so I wouldn't trust them. Isn't there like a... Isn't there a Japanese principle that gilded cracked things are more beautiful because of its crack? That is a, a repair technique uh, that is used to... Uh, I don't... I know that that's a thing that exists. I don't know the specifics behind it. Mm. Uh... So I cannot, I cannot uh, inform you in great detail. <laughs> gotcha. But I know that I know that that's a thing that exists. Yes, that uh, like they have cracked pots and they fill the in uh, the between the pots with gold, and mm -hmm. the resulting uh, the result is that the the golden cracked pot is more beautiful than what it when it was originally, and that's just a principle you can apply to everything like. Like uh, facial reconstruction, uh, art, art that's repaired can be more beautiful. Houses can be more beautiful with repaired. Your soul, the, your, your very soul. You're a broken person. You repair your soul, you become more beautiful. Stuff like that. Yeah. That was my tangent for today. Let's go to work. Actually, there'll be read. more. That is not the last tangent. No, there's not the last tangent at all. Uh, augmented eye. Augmented eye. News of a uh, less reputable sort. Yick. Y2K, the final remaster. Why? Why you, is this a thing? I was going to say, if you really don't want to read it, we don't have to read that one. You read it. If you're going to read it, you read it. I mean, again, we don't have to do this if we, <laughs> if we don't want to. Hatsune Miku Project Remaster. Mm. Mm. I I just bought a Hatsune Miku uh, Jenny uh, Jenny X, uh, XJ9 U uh, twos doll today. I want to show that. I want to show that. I want to show that uh, a U twos doll. Let me see. I don't want to dox myself. Let's I, open. Yes, I would suggest that you don't. Let's go incognito tab on Chrome. Okay. I see you've been looking up Shambling Mounds. What? Shambling Mound? Shambling Mounds? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it now. Um, what am I doing? Uh, You're... Jenny Miku. Jenny Miku U twos. This thing, yeah, this thing. Hmm. I bought this. Nice. Yeah, it's a pre-order. It's like one of my favorite cartoons as a child, and Miku Hatsune. Nice. It's like the perfect. It's the perfect combination. It's so good. I love it. Very nice. Yeah. Are you familiar with the show uh, My My Life as a Teenage Robot? I'm aware that it exists. You're aware that it exists. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. Uh, Sting's face, Sting's face, which is a Stein's Gate kind of. Uh, <laughs> Sting's face, that's good. Uh, Water Pro Wrestling G, and dang it, Ron Paul, at one point two million lifetime sales. Wow. Mm. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think how mundane it's become. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces. Thanks to new technologies, the traditional views on human relationships have changed so much 
that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. If the pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different. But it's just a plain, generic anime hug pillow. Get with the times, Grandma! <laughs> Get with the times, Grandmother! <laughs> First space colony to develop its own army. Hmm. That actually sounds interesting. Go ahead. Even though space was imagined as the promised land of the place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. The first space colony, Shin Outer Paradise, is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army, following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control over the population. Huh. I get the feeling this is going to be a plot point. It Alice be. Rabbit is in sp Alice Rabbit's in space too? Amazing. Hmm. I feel like this is the plot line for a movie. It could be. It's referencing referencing it. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Gundam. Like the yeah. original Gundam a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Which, to be like, fair, I have not seen. <laughs> or like so maybe I'm not uh, maybe I'm not super yeah. qualified to talk on that. Right. I mean, there's so many Gundams. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> I so mean, that's fair. Well, I was yeah, I well, specifically was referring to the first one. Gotcha. Mobile let's suit go Gundam. to Let's go to work. To, to, to the left. Take it back now, y'all. I don't need to get caught up on uh, the new one. Which for Mercury, there we go. Uh, Iron, Iron Wolf, Blooded Wolves or something? Uh, no, that's, that's, that's the previous one. The current the current one is uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch for Mercury. Oh, the the one with the, the Yuri. <laughs> the Yuri teasing, or uh, the overt Yuri. <laughs> Am I am I wrong? Am I, I, wrong? I suppose you're not. I mean, they are like <laughs> married or not married, engaged at the end of the first episode. So, cool. I didn't know that. Great. Yes. For those that are watching, uh, spoilers. <laughs> Too late. Hindsight is twenty twenty. And also, uh, this this show this 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 ge game rather deals in dark shit, dark themes, and may may otherwise disturb you. So, uh, viewer discretion advised. You know, it's a good thing that we remembered to actually give that disclaimer before we started the game, as opposed to when uh, the dark themes came up. Right. <laughs> We're usually not very good about that. Dark themes. Watch if you, you take your, you assume you're all your risk. Viewer discretion advice. Good evening. Ah, Jill. I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. It's not mega New Year's. It's just New Year's. Just normal New Year's. Just normal New Year's. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the dog? Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you sure or get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Very brief. That was very brief. It's time to mix drinks and change lives. Yeah, I have actually been speaking, or not, I guess we didn't speak on it, but the, the jukebox. I have been looking into picking out some songs for that. I don't have any ready just yet, so you don't need to worry about it, but I wanted okay. to let you know that I have been thinking about that. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me know. Ah, uh, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Oh, yeah, this yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, shut up. By any chance that something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I think you don't know what made the noise? Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you heard. Right. The noise got annoying after a while, so I must say so it remained in the vicinity. 
I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. Distant explosions all night. Interesting. So it didn't get far away. Hmm. Um. Now, give me a Mars Blast. <sighs> he said he wouldn't come back, but now he's here, being an asshole. He's less Mars aggressive than he was last time, at least. This is here for a purpose. He, he has something that he can gain for me, which is information. So he has to be, he has to be nice. All blended? I wouldn't say that he's nice, but he's civil, at least. Civil. Here you go. Well, he didn't mess up. Sorry, if I may interject. Are you looking for a fight? Most certainly not. You really think you can stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. Uh, I can fight dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're going to pull out the sneak attack dice, I'm not so sure about that. Anyway. Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I've even come to believe that I'm the only one in here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time? It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try the suplex thing. Right. Let's get Engram a suplex. Wow, that sounded weird. <laughs> Four Bronsons. Ooh, Four Flanners. Three, three Flanners. Three. And three Carms. All in the rocks. All in the rocks and mixed. There we are. Small twist of the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Here, good stuff. Like a less burning but punchier dri pile driver. <laughs> Say, her face somehow looks familiar, Mister. Call me Jane, and you are. I'm in the room. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I needed to look for a specific file at. <clears throat> Did, did you perhaps go through a nano machine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nano machine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So, why'd you go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? The second one. It's, an e it's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does this expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. That's, that sounds plausible, actually. For five hours, you're trapped in bed while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. It sounds pretty bad, in fact. They're like little needles all over your body. Right, because, well, nano machines are, like, microscopic. So, like, them escaping through your skin would be like every pore in your body's opening up simultaneously. That mm. sounds awful. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. He is looking to get... <laughs> Let's give him a gut punch. Again, that doesn't sound right. He's wanted to get a little bit drunk today. Gut punch. I don't mind filling up his drink with a little bit of alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's give him seven pints of it. Whoop. I gotta turn off. Oh, there's Miku again, everyone. <laughs> this Hello is what again, I bought. Miku. 
Hi, Miku. I'm gonna turn off my uh, I'm gonna turn off my mouse without borders. Now it's permanently off. That won't happen again. Nice. Uh, it's all aged and mixed. Not much. Not much. There you go. Yeah, I love these. It's like different from yours, though. I had a couple of extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all of their maintenance systems. Can be troublesome at times, but the perk of not having nano machines in the body outweigh the cons. And the rest of the enhancements? Were, were you reconstructed, or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie. And I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again? Don't count on it. That's what you said before. You said that twice. Shut up. Seemed like a nice guy. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you caught him on a bad day. Nah, yeah, I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. That guy tries the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, someone's in a good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood, too. A bad touch for Alma. All right. I love Alma. She's pretty good. Best waifu in the game, in my opinion. All rocks and mixed. Rocks and mixed. Here. Gil, you have such a pretty, petty sense of humor. I'm guilty as charged. So, what puts you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed like she got fought, fought in, the, in the back of a parking lot. <laughs> she fought in, the, fought in the back of a parking lot. And to top it off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Uh, Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge assigned the, the kids to my parents for the time being. So she really messed up. Really messed it up, huh? When they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump onto the highway. Oh boy. So Eva comes and says... Make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with if you as a cripple. Jeez. Ah, that is that is harsh. And also not. Uh, mm. Yeah, that is. By the way, uh, yeah. is my my uh, is my Fugi uh, my rubber nose uh, rubber rubber hose Sheppy the, yes. like the Googie Fifty Sheppy? Okay, good. Yes. How do you like it? How do you like it? I, I made Pretty it good. myself. Thank you. Yeah, I saw yeah. it during the the subathon. Yeah, I um I I imagined if uh, Sparks was a um if Sparks was a um let me adjust the rubber score. If Sparks was a like a fifties robot with a with a with a TV face, why not make him just a TV with mm -hmm. legs <laughs> and hands? So yeah, I I, I also love uh, a figure. Give Sheppy like an overalls, uh, like an overalls outfit. Make her look like, uh, like the working woman. You know that famous painting with the woman that's holding, like, doing the the. the I don't know how to call it, what to call it, like the. Yeah, Rosie the Riveter. R Rosie the Riveter, yes, that kind of look, yes. Thank gotcha. you. Yeah. So yeah, I was really proud of that. <laughs> yes, it is anyway. quite nice. Thank you. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time, even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing, 
She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all of that. I mean the age difference and all. But there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was the day she invited her friends to the house, and I want to, went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister. She said she had no little sisters. Uh, what? Mm. Ouch. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held her on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. No kidding. You haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... Diana said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. Let me lower your... I just noticed my, um, your avatar's a little bit... There we go, now it's not blocking text. Thanks. Good. I hate blocking text. <laughs> when you see her, you don't see an adult, you see an overgrown teenager. So, aside from destroying any admiration I held from her, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Oh. Odd enough about me, how are you? Well, she certainly has a fucked up family. Her kids are... She's in a custody battle with her kids. Not, not her, her not, uh, not Alma, but yes. her sister. But damn. Oh, fuck. Yeah, how over are you? her kids, more properly, yeah. not with her kids. Yes. That's not, that's what I meant. You know what I meant? You know what I meant? <laughs> Tiberius, stop making this weird. Everyone in my chat knew what I meant. Listen. Everyone in your chat knew what I meant. Listen, <laughs> I am here to make jokes. That is what, that is why you bring me along. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> what are we going to say? What are we here for if not to, if not to entertain and amuse? Yes. Everything's fine, aside from Iberius making <laughs> terrible jokes. Aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out my dead dead ex-sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So, what's the problem, then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give a Brantini, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Right. Three powdered delta, one parmesan, all aged and mixed. Indeed we go. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Not her. Who? Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself and talked completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. Oh my all, god. All I can look at right now is that a hoge. A hoge. Not now. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend. Ooh. And after all the girl and after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire a high-ranking in hair? This, this bitch needs to leave, please. 
up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. And she was no longer a child, and yet she felt like part of her heard crumbled. Hey, Joe. You can mess up her hair. See? Want, you wanna see? I bet you wanna see. Alright, enough. Enough. Peace out. I know the girl's you, and the sister is your elder sister. Please get to the point. Oh, Joe. Right. Chill, chill, sweetie. No. Point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I get a beer? Right. Am I going crazy? I feel really bad. I feel like I, I was too. Ch I chided her, and I. Social faux pas. Mm -hmm. that Anna, that's never... Anna is a troublesome hallucination. Yeah. Here. Thanks. So, tell me, did you and this gappy girl get along? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her with her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was... She was pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave. I'll tell you this. As both big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never... Forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but there's there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I want to take my break. All right. Wow. You were here. You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Amy even said goodbye to you. Didn't you hear? A anyway, anyways, call me if anything comes up. Oh, I can, f I can just the the frustration in Jill's voice, like in her text. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I can just feel it. I can smell it. Just mm. okay. Uh, day two break. Break. <laughs> it's less chilly today. All right, so you said there's some music? Um, the... I don't have a whole lot uh, saved. I'll see. I'll, I know I did pick out a couple of songs. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's see if I can find that there playlist. Yeah, the soundtrack for this game is on Spotify. If anyone was uh, wanting to know that information. Cool. So what's with all these question mark, question mark, question marks? Do we have to unlock those? Presumably. Okay. Let's see. What do we What do we already have? I know some of the ones that we have are ones that we had on the playlist already. Um, mm -hmm. All right. How about friendly conversation? That might be one that we don't have uh, unlocked, possibly. Nope, we do not have that. We don't have that unlocked. Uh, how about "Will I'm You sure. Remember Me"? Hmm. That's a nice song. Yeah. Well, 
this one and put Will You Remember Me there. All right. All right. Uh, so that's those are the the only ones that I've got uh, immediately available. Just the one. I mean, the other one, the other one we didn't find when we went through. Oh, okay. All right. You're right. Unless All you right, want to go. search for it again in case we missed it, but I I looked it. We don't have it. Uh, yeah. Friendly conversation. You said. Yeah. That's yeah, not in here. I'm guessing it must yes, be I'm... one of the ones that aren't unlocked. Yep. Uh, Jill, a kid's looking for you. Oh, shit. Hey. Ah, Norma. <gasps> You're back. Oh, fuck you. You know, you do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? You, you said I. You said it. I said it out loud. Yeah. Um. Actually, I wanted to thank you. She thought it was for her. Uh, thank me. Well, for starters, by not complying and giving me alcohol, everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Ah, so responsible, Joe. I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on me. And said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And? Well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me it'd be a waste to spend money in university just for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still go the college course, but I was free to explore. Glad to hear that. And, well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? I just rushed headfirst in my original plans. Things would have gotten ugly. Let me turn on the game. It might be a little bit loud. Yeah, it did seem a little bit loud on my end, but I wasn't quite sure if that was just my settings or yours. It was my settings. Things would have gotten ugly. Okay. You were right. I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Ah, uh, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a bleeding Jane, please. On it. I hope she doesn't fuck up my order. So far, we've not uh, observed any... What's the word I'm looking for? Corporeality out of her. So I don't know that she has the capacity to do so. I certainly hope that she doesn't. Right. Well, she did say she could lift her up, up uh, uh, on a sweater, right? Alma, you mean? Alma, yeah, that's what I said, right? You that's said Alma. 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 Alma sweater. That might have been she a taunt. Hmm. Thanks. Hey, Joe. You hate me. It is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that I, I can only see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can't I? You're the main character? I don't know. What are you... A cute girl. Right. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Yeah, yeah, just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and serve a beer, please? Yeah, sure. A beer for Gil now. Here we go. The one drink. Look at that. Offhand. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? All right. Here we go. Corporeality. Maybe it will spook me. Let's try. Yeah. Uh, what? Can't see it. I can see it. I can see it. I too can see it. Can't see anything. You sure? Yup. Uh, stop it! 
weird. Nobody expects the Dorth Inquisition. The Dorth Inquisition. Dorth Inquisition. Dorth Inquisition. Dorth Inquisition. Ow! It bit my tongue. <laughs> Can't believe I'm using the spare ton so early in the night. Oh, oh. Don't tell me about your tons. <clears throat> Honey. Oh, hey, Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. For the, <laughs> a fluffy dream for the Dorothy on the go. Indeed. Three adult eyes, three powder delta, optional karma trend, age, and next. There you go. Thanks. Oh yeah, uh, before you leave. What? Are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Sure, I'll be there here then. Hmm. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? Who does what? Sorry, I, I sneezed. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. Oh yeah, Joe? Take care of Becky, please. Man, she was in a rush. Alright, forget that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. <laughs> I'll need to get them through more shady means. She's gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all out at risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. <laughs> Please. Oh, I guess that's it for today. You sure you're fine? I am. Don't worry. Hey, Phil, mind if I ask a silly question? You've seen my clients. You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can still get on my nerves, though. Sorry, what did you want to ask? You know why they call them cat boomers? I mean, I guess the second set of ears look like the cats, but... The word boomer seems so out of place. Not so much when you consider it's not them, but their parents who were called such. Oh? Well, let's get a bit back first. Let's go a bit back first. You do know that why cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti nano ejection anti nano machine rejection treatment while they were still a fetus, right? It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Or was it the Romaneko Yamada treatment? Uh, the Roma... Uh, let's call it the catification procedure. It was not only the first successful genetic treatment of, on a fetus, but also the first way to fight nano machine rejection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky story. Funding got cut in the middle of it at a critical point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zaibatsu Corps' uh, record of not addressing the machine rejection at all. The rest of the research was funded by Maki uh, Stringovich. Sten Stengovich. St Maki Stengovich. Is it Stengovich? Let's call her Stengovich for now. Let's call, let's call him Stengovich for now. Call someone something for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Stingovinch uh, funded the research, and in a desperate move, his wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. The girl, Sylvia Stingovinch, didn't die. She became the living testament of a scientific break breakthrough. But then, the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized in the media and created a weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through the catification procedure, even if they had no ailments at all. All because one particular girl whose life got saved through that treatment became a media darling for a, uh, for a bit. A whole generation of kids with the cat-like protrusions got born. And their parents got called cat boomers. A generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. Fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. 
Eventually, Cat Boomer just started being used for people with their protrusions instead of their parents. You keep calling them protrusions. Why is that? Because that's what they are. Huh? You didn't think those things on their heads were ears, right? But sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial and ear muscles. Thus, they can move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. It's, it still surprises me a bit, though, that uh, the biggest mutation they get after the treatment is just that. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really think, though, they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. Oh, don't worry. I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. And keep in mind I'm fucking up the terms. I don't want you to say someone got protrusions because of a catification procedure. I'll keep it in mind. Wait! What? Uh, yeah, the guy's name was Stingovich. Huh? I, I just remembered, Sylvia Stingovich was around my age, and when I was a teen, there were some TV specials featuring her. And I just remembered that I had the biggest crush on her. And now that I think about it, that crush had me very confused back then. And did you need to shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. Alright, careful out there. Another all booze and no, an All booze and no firecrackers makes Dana a doll girl. <laughs> Or I got the money that she would have used for firecrackers, I guess. Presumably. Yeah. You want to play another day? That was kind of short. Uh, I suppose we could we could make that happen. If you don't want to, I mean, this has only been like less than an hour. <laughs> yeah, I was I was kind of <laughs> I was kind of wanting to play some Final Fantasy fourteen tonight. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you can do that. All right. Let's um, let's call it here then. That was a very short stream. It was a little bit, yeah. We, for the first time in quite a while, we uh, didn't have anything go terribly wrong. Right. No, no crazy drama besides uh, the 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 ghost girl fucking yes. with our user interface. Well, I'm <laughs> even beyond that. I'm just referring to like the actual mechanics of the stream. Right. True. Yeah, nothing. Have... We weren't terribly delayed by anything. We weren't uh, interrupted by anything. The game worked function like properly the whole time. Yeah. Been a while since that was true. Right. Mm. So yeah. All right. Anyway. Want to go raid someone? I would like to go raid someone. Yes. All right. Uh, someone's having a birthday today. Oh, nice! And I want to read it. I want to read it to them. Sounds good. But first, to me. I want to. I want to. I want to. First, before I forget, mod my friend physicist because uh, don't forget to do that. Um, what kind of mods are you gonna install on physicist? Uh, maybe some flamethrowers. Hmm. Brain, brain controlled flamethrowers. How about high resolution textures? I don't think he needs that. Maybe. You might appreciate it. You never know. Yeah, you could. You, yeah, you could. Yeah. Um, physicist. How do you spell your name, physicist? How do you spell your fucking name? Oh, fuck. I, I don't want to respell it because I'll give someone I don't know a mod. Uh, uh, P H Y Z I S I S T. Z Y S. Okay. P Y P H Y Z I S. Z I S. Mm hmm. I S T. He doesn't have a C? He doesn't have a C in his name? No. Okay. Oh, great. Fantastic. Yep. Guess who is... Uh, well, we have, I have a friend. We're having a birthday. Um, I will give you their name. All right. Actually, let me make sure. Let me, let me see. I, I want to make sure... Uh, uh, okay, they might be not be in streaming. Fair enough. No, they're not streaming. They stopped. Right. Um, never mind. 
Uh, who are we rating? Uh, let's see. Who's online? Um, you know, it's been a good long while since I've seen a Tauntaun. I rated a Tauntaun recently. <laughs> if you want to rate into them, I, uh, uh, if you want to rate into them, that's good. I will rate into someone else. Well, I don't know. I like doing a coordinated raid, though. Like, if you, right, got... you know, if you want to raid someone else, we can raid someone else. A Soraka VTube was instrumental in in my subatomic success. Success not really instrumental is like not the not the right word, but she did they, they did really help. Um, Soraka Space Hammond is a is a, ha- a space hamster like that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, Pastel Princess Mari. Uh, I don't know. Up to you. Well, I you're, would. You're getting <laughs> Why did you rate? Oh God, I'm getting rated. <laughs> well, all right. Because I'll take this opportunity to take a sip. <laughs> What's everyone doing? Uh, Suki, how, oh, thank you for the raid. And what were you playing? Do we get a raid? Uh, can we get a shout out for Suki? Okay, Azuki. How you doing? I'm gonna give you a shout out here. You were play you were playing the arts. Awesome. Nice. Apex and then art. <laughs> I was about to raid someone, so I'm glad I didn't press the button yet. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh for those that are just joining, I am Sheppy Sheps, the explosion VTuber. I just got done with a uh, a subathon and I drank hot sauce and um my throat is burning a little bit. Even uh, that was like two days ago, and it's still burning. <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you for the follow, Gal Sal. How you doing? Appreciate it. Um, I, do you want to? Do you want? Do you want? You want me to play? I just got raided. I feel bad for. I feel bad for uh, ending stream when I got raided. <laughs> do you want to play till the break? Maybe like the break, and then we we call it there. <laughs> we can do that, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's, you want to read the news first? But yeah, uh, let I, me I get, let me I, get back to the game. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, yes, I am the explosion VTuber. I am a variety streamer. I provide chaotic content. Um, at a reasonable price. And I'm with my friend, Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. Hello. And we, every Thursday, we play some drinky game where we drink with waifus and make dr- waifus drunk. <laughs> yes, chaotic content. Yeah. It is the best kind of content. Well, uh, Tiberius is like the, the straight man that's kind of like keeps me in balance. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> like the, the guy that uh, makes sure I don't get in too much trouble. <laughs> And boy, okay. boy, is that necessary? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like he won't e- he won't even curse during this game, and I have to provide the curses myself. <laughs> we we are having fun. We're going to play a little bit because you raided me. How about that? It's a little treat for you. Um, bit Bitcoin closing the forty percent of its bar. Oh, the yeah the, the uh, I don't remember the bar it's... association. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The bar, the bar commission, closing 40% of its bars in Glitch City. The British Trademark Council is facing some economic troubles in Glitch City, and it looks like they're on their way out. Blaming rising inflation rates and a weak currency, the BTC has got uh, given the order to span almost half of its recreational businesses in the city. We can't keep doing this. Business like this. Glitch City has a negative impact on our earnings, and we can't continue in the red. A PR representative told the augmented eye. Prime Minister Quincy, on the other hand, thinks that BTC is just too greedy. And for those that are just joining us and have never played this game, Quincy is a prime minister who's a robot, an AI. <laughs> they make a lot of money already, and now they're crying because they ha- they can't have more. Give me a break. Exterminate. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so real quick, Kato asks yeah. why, I, why I do not curse. Well, it's just not yeah. something I make a habit of, basically. I'm not strongly opposed to it, but it, I think it's funnier to to try and figure out a plausible word substitution on, on the spot, basically. 
Right. For instance, we I made a character be obsessed with dragons at one point. That was fun. Yeah. I made another character obsessed with teeth at one point. <laughs> uh. You're gonna have all these. The, the, the Tiberius lore expands, and it's just like different versions of Tiberius, just obsessed with something. <laughs> <laughs> Your lore is that you're a time, man, a, a time person, right? A, a, a future man. That's a way to describe it. Yes, time person. Future man. <laughs> future man. Yes, that is the yes. the term that I that I use. And I, uh, this. This model of mine is uh, I am a silent protagonist, and the robot's the chatty one. <laughs> Isn't that a funny concept? See, if you even remove my scarf, I don't even speak. <laughs> it's just the robot that speaks. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's a novel concept. So, uh, yeah, some bastard programmers programmed me to not speak at all, like Link. I'm like Link, but cooler. Like, I make things, exp like, Link is cool, but look at these things I have. He doesn't have these things that I'm wa wagging about right now. No! <laughs> you look at me respectfully, okay? I'm, I'm telling you, look at me respectfully. <laughs> no, yeah, no. <laughs> Link should get boobs. Uh, is there, like, a Linkle character? and Linkle and a... Uh, Age of Calamity, yes, I think. Uh, she's it's not in Age of Calamity. She's in the other one, Hyrule Warriors. Oh, oh or like the okay. original Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors. The, the original, okay. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wearing socks and sandals in public is now a crime. Of course it is. Of course it is. All right. I feel like we have... One? I was assuming so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. I feel like... I feel... Let me take that again. I like to say we have the freedom to wear whatever we like in the streets of Glitch City, so long as we adhere to the decency rules. However, that's about to change. Glitch City's P uh, Department of Public Decency has declared that wearing socks and sandals together is a punishable crime. If convicted, the guilty face three days in jail as punishment for the abominable combo. What do you think? Should we wear whatever we want, or should the fashion police of high society decide for you? Whatever the case, I think I'll simply stick to the right side of the battle. Goodbye, socks and sandals. You know, gods be praised! First silly law of all in for. <laughs> it's great. I'm I, I'm dead ass for real. Don't remember the Re Legend of Zelda games other than the first one in Breath of the Wild. I am so obsessed with uh, Tears of the Kingdom right now. Um, if you like, you like staying employed. If you like staying employed in a, a st uh, like steady job, steady income, don't get that game. I'm like, I'm, Sheppy and Sparks Incorporated is kind of going out of business right now. We're, we're trying to recoup funds as we speak. That's why I'm doing the sub I was did the, did the sub And then during the sub <laughs> you played Tears of the Kingdom. So it's right. two birds with one stone. Right! <laughs> You want experience? Yes, it's worth the seventy bucks. But uh, like, in my opinion, it's, I'm not sponsored by Nintendo. John Nintendo didn't pay me, didn't write me a check or anything. John Nintendo uh, doesn't even know I exist, and that's probably a good thing. As far as you're aware. Yes. Birth rates decrease as the youth prefers Lilum Company. At the beginning of the century, the idea that people would rather be with robots instead of other humans was treated as a joke. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> uh, but the reality is that the convenience of these kinds of relationships has become immensely popular along Glitch City's youth, to the point where birth rates are, are beginning to decrease at an alarming rate. Annie May. Annie May. A 17-year-old student agrees with the general statement. It's just so much better than dealing with other people, you know. You can just make your own perfect partner. And sex is amazing! <laughs> Teehee! Don't even get me started. It's ex expected that new regulations will soon uh, to be announced to address the situation. Being only with a Lilum can be tiring, though. Because they have endless energy. Um, let me see. For those who don't know, Lilum are the, um, like, 
how would you describe? They're like they're not really like they're like android cyborg. What are they? Would you say Tiberius? You probably have a better succinct term for them. I would I would refer to them as androids. Essentially, they are uh, they hi- are person they are humanoid robots with you know a person a human's level of awareness and the general form of a person. Yes. So yes. Or of a human, I should I should specify because there are non-human persons in this True. in this setting. For instance, we have a dog who works at our bar. He doesn't do very much, but he does work there. Yes. Uh, we have a little corgi that works at the bar. That's it. Uh that oh, they're talking about our bar. Shit. Yeah. I think yeah, the bar called Valhalla and Surviving English City are new. Oh shit. 4chan's gonna is, is planning a raid? Holy fuck. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Normies are talking, taking over, huh? Everyone is a neat because like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. How so? Never been there, so so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can't take it. I can't take I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. I see you've already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? Clown nose? Nah, I just heard from the distance. So, is that a no? Kinda. I mean, if you're going there just to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I think going next week then. Sounds good enough for me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. A new customer, perhaps. Maybe. For surviving in Glitch City. I have to go to work. Good luck. Have fun. Thanks for the raid again. That's so kind of you. Farewell. Appreciate you. Farewell. Have a fine evening. Yes. Yes. Any tips for a new friend? And For a new friend. Oh, my God. A new friend in this wonderful land? Oh, boy. Self-deprecating Fred? <laughs> Don't trust the white and the white knights, and don't get off the go after 5 p.m. unless you want to be mugged and mur- or murdered. Bring a portable chair everywhere. You're gonna have to. You'll have to line up for the fl- for flower. LOL. That sounds awful. That sounds get pretty used, bad. Get used to eat what you what you find. Shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Don't jinx it, please. I have enough. Uh, have enough as it is. So coming here was a mistake. Why would you come here anyway? Visiting family? But now I want to take them out. Do it while you can! Yeah, airlines are leaving the city, lol. Soon we won't be able to escape, Ryan face. Can I even get some weed in the scrapple somewhere? Yeah, I just peed a good dealer, winky clown face. Uh, okay. Uh, right. So weed is, weed is legal. All right. I don't you know, want the, word, to the... the term dealer implies that it is not. You're right. Yeah, yes, you're right. <laughs> and then we're doing it in PM, so it's not like you can just... Um, not like you can just, like... Say it in public. Yeah. Uh, do you want to... I'll ask again. Do you want to you work? Do you want to work? Or do you want to just call it here? I mean, we can I, go if you, want, if you want to go. I already yeah, I I, made my, my point. Yeah, I'm just going to save it. Right. And, uh, we're just, we're just going to end it here. Yeah, All right. You, well, we're, we're double sure that we saved this time, yeah? <laughs> I, I don't want to I, I don't wanna repeat it the last time. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We saved twice. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Who are we rating? Um, let's see. Um, who else is online? Uh, Soma. I got, I, gonna, I, got a few, I got a few targets, but you go ahead. Uh, Mercury Mimic? Don't know them. All right. Well, then you're about to. Okay. Are they oh. nice? Uh, okay. It looks like they're not streaming anymore. They just finished the stream. Never mind. <laughs> they just they, they, they heard us saying they're going to raid them. They're like, no, I don't want those those two. They stay out of my, stay out of my stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Ven? Are you familiar with Ven? Ven? Uh, Silver Gecko? Uh, no. 
All right. No. Well, then you're about to, as I as I just said. <laughs> Can I get their name? Uh, yes. I will send you the link real quick. Okay. Or not link, but you know, username. There you are. It looks like, uh, they are playing some Tears of the Kingdom right now. Oh, right. So I can't watch. All right. Never mind. Uh, you want <laughs> me to find someone else? Yeah. So I don't get spoiled. Um, hmm. Oh, actually, I, there's someone that I, uh, am acquainted with who is having a birthday stream tonight, actually, it seems really? like. Really? Who is it? Uh, Ellie is lost. Ellie is lost. Okay. Sure. Why not? All right. Ellie is lost. All right. We'll do that then. All right. Are they nice? It's pretty nice. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah, it's been been a good while since I since I've seen her streams. But, uh, okay. but yeah. Um. Yeah, anything you would like to say before we conclude for the day? Uh, Saturday I stream. Nice. I stream Saturday. Mm, I do um, more Zelda. Nice. And I do another round of karaoke. Nice. I'm going to be singing another round of the fucking album. <laughs> of the what? Another round of Nonagon Infinity. And it opens ah. the door. And yeah. you have to wait for the answer to open the door. All right. Anyway, I have very little to announce at this point. Uh, I am terribly behind on uploading my VOD, so I hope to get that uh, sorted out within the next week or so. Ideally, I would also like to start streaming again next week uh, on a somewhat regular basis, but we will see. So yes, at any rate, the customary raid message... <coughs> Pardon. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived, and so... Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Bye-bye! Indeed. Let us get so this long. raid underway. Okay. Farewell. Bye-bye. Goodbye.